What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, you might believe this drama. Jeffree Star is in the drama again. This time, he has went all off on Twitter. The gloves are off, girl, because we need to talk about what's really going on with Jeffree Boom Boom Star. So, Jeffree Star posted on his Twitter, Okay, and I thought this was fake news, but I saw it for myself and it's not deleted as of the time of making this video, it's still there. Here's what Jeffree Star had to say. Anyone who challenges the system gets eliminated. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, what, what system are you talking about, Jeffree? Uh, the government system, the financial system, the YouTube system. So he posted that, you know, maybe he had one or too many and he just feeling himself, you know what I'm then, then I saw another tweet. In 2020, I was going to expose everything. If, if Jeffree Star exposed everything in 2020, honestly, it would just be part one. Because you got 2021, 2022, more stuff that he was gonna expose or potentially be added to be exposed. So if he exposed stuff in 2020, it would have just been a little bit exposed because there's so much more that happened since then. In a matter of days, the Hollywood elite tried to ruin my entire career, vandalize me, and flooded the news with lies to discredit me. If you guys only knew the truth about what they are doing to Britney and Kanye. This right here, this whole entire paragraph sums up a lot. If you can pick up what I'm putting down, Jeffree Star has said so much in this one little paragraph right here. And I just want to go over it again and then we're going to break it down. In 2020, I was going to expose everything. And that's what I wanted to say. Like, what is what was there to expose? Uh, let me see. James Charles drama, Tati Westbrook drama. We're going to expose stuff with Morphe Cosmetics because I went to Morphe Cosmetics store and they're now closed. What's going on, guys? So we're here at the Morphe store. Follow me. They went bankrupt. They told all the employees the day after Christmas, it's over, allegedly, so there's nobody there. They gave them a severance of one week to three weeks. Yeah. This is what remains of the Morphe store here. This is Rich Lux reporting live for the hottest celebrity news and gossip on TikTok, YouTube, and across the internet webs. So let's check out the other side. Ariana Grande, Grim Beauty couldn't save it. Jaclyn Hill, James Charles, Jeffree Star, so many big names. And this is what's left of it now. Of the remnants of what once was Morphe. So many employees are now coming forward saying that they have a severance package now and so many stores are closing. If you saw a Morphe store in your area that's now closed, put it down in the comments down below what location that was uh, or what city or mall rather. So with that being said, when he said there was so much I could expose in that year, I'm thinking, well, like, what exactly are you talking about? Because then you have situations like, are you going to expose things with your relationship with Nathan Swan? Are you going to expose things about business deals that may have gone awry or wrong or good in your favor? Because the thing is, when people say, I'm going to expose, it doesn't always have a negative con connotation on it. I'm going to expose this glove. It's a good glove. Like, it doesn't always have to be negative. So when he said, I'm going to expose, I'm thinking like, well, what is there, right? Because obviously, Jeffree Star feels in some way that he has been slighted. He feels in some way that he has been wronged and maybe this is his attempt to maybe vindicate him. Because then you have stores like Morphe that are now closed. If they, maybe they would have kept him, the stores would have been open. Maybe if he would have gave um, Shane Dawson more time, maybe Shane Dawson could have did a, a documentary series where they vindicate Jeffree Star again or something, or maybe talk about it. What I find interesting is you had Shane Dawson there with you. Y'all were just, you know, kicking it, shooting the breeze. That could have been a perfect opportunity to be like, I wanna, I wanna talk. I'm ready to expose. But maybe Jerry Star wasn't ready. Shane Dawson, I think, was ready to talk and film some stuff and a, a cool new series. But I think Jeffree Star maybe wasn't ready. This to me lets me know that Jeffree Star might be ready to, to say something. 
But anyways, the receipt goes as follows. Okay. In 2020, I was going to expose everything. In a matter of days, the Hollywood elite tried to ruin my entire career. Well, who's the Hollywood elite, girl? Is it that guy that works at Nickelodeon or something like that one? Like that one? Like, who is the Hollywood elite? They must be so elite that we don't know about them. And then, what gets really interesting is this part right here. Bitter lies me and flooded the news with lies to discredit me. If you guys only knew the truth, about what they are doing to Britney and Kanye. This is interesting. You know, Britney and Kanye, a lot of people think that they're on some type of um, narcotics or something. Um, because, hear me out, hear me out. A lot, I've, I've seen it a lot before. I've seen it before. People say, well, you know, Kanye wasn't like that until he got with Kim Kardashian. Kanye wasn't like no mask off or mask off, or whatever you want to call it, before he got with Kim. So then I'm thinking like, this is what I've learned in life, okay? When you become extremely wealthy, extremely successful, money doesn't change you. It just makes you more who you really are. So if you're a monster, it's gonna make you more of a monster. If you're rude, it's gonna make you more rude. If you're a nice person, yeah, it might make you a little bit jaded because everyone who's around you just wants money or clout. So you're kind of just more pr protective of that energy. So when he says that, I, I wish people knew the truth about, you know, what's going on with Britney Spears and Kanye. I think a lot of people feel the same way. Like, what is really going on? Like, no one knew about this whole conservatorship that much until the Britney Spears situation. And then you got some, like, these, I'm telling you, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. And I think Jeffree Star knows that. But I think as big and as powerful and tough as Jeffree Star is, or likes to portray that he is, I think that there's bigger forces at hand that he's like, I'm not mess, I'm not going there. Not to say that Jeffree Star is scared, because I've never known him to be scared, but I've known him to, to pick and choose his battles wisely. That makes sense? So sometimes you have to just, you know what? That's a battle I'm not gonna fight today. And maybe never, but I will tell you what, there are some things that Jeffree Star knows that I think he'll take to his grave. And I think there's some things that he might speak about, but we'll see. Then he went on to tweet a little bit more. He said this, what a crazy effing year. I escaped the Illuminati in 2021 and they still haven't killed me. Every day I wake up grateful. Okay, there have been countless rumors circling the internet that Jeffree Star is part of the Illuminati. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Countless rumors that Jeffree Star is a part of the Illuminati. And for those of you who don't know, the Illuminati is supposed to be like this secret, like, like group of people that are very powerful and very wealthy. And I think a lot of it is controlled by money, uh, status, and clout, and things of that situation, right? Do I think that the Illuminati is real? What do you think? Do you think the Illuminati is real? Do you think that Jeffree Star was gonna be a part of that? Because this is interesting, and I think that this is a tip of the iceberg of what Jeffree Star is really trying to say. Now, let's not forget, Jeffree Star said he was gonna release a book. And we already know that if the book is good, they release a movie with it. So this whole entire situation of the beauty bubble on YouTube and the Morphe and the closing and the relationships and this whole mean girl high school fallout, that whole entire thing. And that's just a little bit of it. There's so much more that all could be turned into a movie. It's huge. It's huge. The, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below because we have more tea to talk about. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go uh, fix my makeup and I'll be right back. He's at it again, back into the drama. So grab a snack and come on back, cause you already know, ain't no scandal I can't handle. I have some like really important opinions, my conspiracy, my opinion allegedly, but we'll talk about it. So I wanna say very quickly, you know I gotta pay the light bill. Thank you so much to today's sponsor. Thank you adamandeve.com for sponsoring this video. You can use code LUX to save 50% off. Exclusions do apply and a portion of the proceeds goes to help and find a cure for HIV and AIDS. I love companies that give back. So thank you, adamneve.com for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I have a lot to say. The gloves might be off. <sighs> Jeffree Star, what am I gonna do, Jeffree Star, girl? Listen, must be a slow news day. So here's what happens. First of all, for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, Jeffree Star finally unveiled his new animal that he's having 
on the Star Ranch. Yes, now, no, he didn't capture James Charles and put him on the ranch. No, no, no. He has legit another animal. Now, for those of you who don't know, he has the yaks. Yakety yak, don't come back. He has the yaks up on the ranch, and some of them he uses, you know, to, for, for meat and stuff like that. Who knows what else? But he now says that he's going to have another breed of animal. And people were guessing, whatever, but like, we found out it was camels. We have the receipt girl. So he has these huge camels walking around on the ranch behind him. I was kind of like shocked by that. I, well, is, well, is it a camel? Because like, girl, you, I'll be saying it's a parrot and y'all say it's a parakeet. I'll say it's a flamingo and y'all say it's a hippo. So whatever it is, it, to me, it looks like a camel. Now it could look like it, but it could be like something else. So, oh, I finally got the banana fetish palette too. I'm really excited about it. I've been like wanting this palette and I saw that it was on sale and I was like, cha-ching, I'm gonna swoop right in and get it. So I'm gonna be putting on a little makeup when I talk about this Jeffree Star. Should we do a little blue? Should we do a little yellow? I think we'll do a little blue today. So here we go. Oh, I am you know, I am the original beauty guru, okay? I am the, people can't relate to me because they can't relate to like my superstar looks, my supermodel, my supermodel, they can't relate to it. They can try, but they can't relate to it. So anyways. So, now that Jeffree Star has camels, he said that he wasn't going to, like, eat them or, like, <laughs> like you know, he wasn't going to do all that. That's what he said. I, there's a clip of that, that he said that. But I will say this. What I found very interesting about Jeffree Star is the other day, I have the receipt. I'm going to put the receipt in right here. Then we're going to talk about it because I have a lot. I have a lot of opinions about it. Here we go. Just in time for the Christmas season, I wanted to release two brand new clear mirrors. Here is the rainbow haze, and then she Okay, we're back. Grab a snack, girl. So, what I found interesting about that... Ooh, look how it blends. It's actually pretty good. It's like very like a periwinkle blue, almost. So, what I found, um... Periwinkle blue with like a silver shift. <laughs> oh my god. So, what I found interesting about Jeffree Star is that he dropped like these new, um, like... It looks like meat cleavers or something, or like these knives or whatever. And one in white, and then there's like this metallic rainbow looking one. And then he dropped like a tumbler or something. And then he was like, oh, this is like my, my Christmas drop or something like that. And I'm thinking to myself, wait, 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 wait what are you doing? Like, what are you, what, what, what? And then he promoted the 12 days of Christmas like all late, like he promoted it at a time that I don't think I would be able to even get it on time. Uh, if I'm lucky, that's if I did like the express shipping, if I paid extra for like next day air or something. But then the winter storm hit, so I doubt I would have got it. But I was just looking at, and I have my opinions on why, right? So I was looking at Jeffree Star promoting his products at a time that most people, if they order, won't be able to get it for Christmas. There were already, like, you would have to be watching the Instagram account and stuff to know that it was out. But him physically saying it, when, that's when I would tune in. It's when he talks. Like, when he posts pictures and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, cute. But it's when he's vocalizing and saying, hey, I got a hot sale right now. Go check it out. That's when I write, I'm like, okay, I don't know, I just, I just tend to shop better like that when I hear it. That makes sense. But anyways, then he goes on to say, my Christmas drop. Go, you know, when you tumbler and meet whatever, knives or whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what, what, this is the day before Christmas or the, the day, like two days before Christmas. I don't understand how people were going to get that in time. You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get it in time. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. So then I thought to myself, well, why is he promoting these items at a time? Oh, that looks so good. At a time when even if I, if I was to order it, I wasn't going to be able to get it. Do you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna go in with a little little pink here. This is shade Pinky Ring. <laughs> I told you I'm a real beauty guru girl. Okay, 
This is my banana fetish review. Okay, can you imagine? Wait, I think I have a mirror right here. I don't need to hold this one. So then I was thinking, okay, this is where it gets real, okay? This is my chit chat, get ready with me. Do you guys remember when people used to do those videos? Oh, I miss, oh, I miss those, oh, I miss them. Okay, so then I was thinking, okay, maybe he's not promoting these um, products. Like, like the 12 days of Christmas and him getting on camera and saying it and, and doing stuff like that. And maybe he's not promoting the, um, the tumblers on time. It came down to me one of three things. One, the passing of his friend, Daniel. And I just think maybe Jeffrey felt like, hey, you know, a really close friend of mine passed away and I'm grieving. I don't feel like getting on camera and selling makeup or knives or tumblers or 12 days of Christmas. Like I just, it kind of like puts a damper on the holiday and maybe he didn't want to get on camera and sell. Although you see these big legacy brands like Chanel and Dolce and & Gabbana and I don't know, Revlon and God knows who else, Too Faced. Stuff, personal stuff happens and they keep going, they keep pushing. And this is where you take the business and the person or the brand and the person. And I think that Jeffree Star, I think that's what, I think that's what he did. I think him personally didn't announce it because of what he was feeling or going through or couldn't bring himself to get on camera and sell. And that's understandable, that's respectable. But then the brand, I noticed that the brand was posting Instagram stories and Instagram static feeds of the sale. So that's my one thing. I was like, okay, maybe Jeff started to promote it because of the loss of his friend. Two, he didn't just, he didn't care. He was like, not bothered with it, whatever. I have bigger fish to fry or whatever. But I think I'm being like, no, or it could have just been, I don't know what the third one would be, honestly. So I would just have to say, just me, just because you know, I'm not to have an opinion, my, my opinion, my conspiracy allegedly. And I don't want to sit up here and say, oh, he just really doesn't care about the makeup gig anymore. Um, I do think that, oh, look at that pink. I do think that he does like makeup still. And I always say this about a lot of these creators. I think like they, at one point, they were in love with makeup. And then now they're just like, oh, I like it. You know, I have an interest to it. So I don't know. Maybe he's falling out of love with makeup and he likes it. But I would just have to assume that because of his friend Daniel passing away, it coincided with the holiday season and that's why he didn't promote it. Although, it's very interesting because Jeffree Star comes across like cold as ice, you know, millionaire stare, just like boss, you know. So you would think that he just would have kept going and it's maybe kept his feelings inside, I guess, and not say anything and just like kept it going. Because I feel like they, uh, Daniel would have would have been like, get your coin, girl. Do you, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Don't let me stop the show or whatever. But I think that Jeffree Star, you know, had some feelings about it and that's why that happened. And RIP to Daniel and stuff like that. I didn't talk to Daniel like a lot or anything like that in the DMs or whatever. But when I did speak to him, he was just always so positive. And it was so refreshing to see somebody so positive with, given the circumstance that he was dealing with and what he was battling and him just remaining remaining uh positive about, about about the whole the whole entire situation i was just kind of like wow you know i mean but at the end of the day that's all you can that's all you can be is just like just have a you know like just keep going i mean i can't sit here and be mad about it because that's not going to get me anything it's going to keep going so i i do kind of feel like Jeffree Star had a, a real soft spot for Daniel and maybe that's what affected his mood for the holidays and didn't want to come on camera and start selling stuff off the heels of a close friend of him that passed away. And, and you know, my, my thoughts and my prayers go out to Jeffree because I mean, it is a sad, if you ever lost someone who was really close to you, it could be sad. And so I see um, some people were saying like, well, you know, he's selling it too late or whatever. In actuality, maybe himself getting on camera and saying like, let me show you like, hey guys, we got a sale, check it out, tap in, tap in. Yeah, that part, yeah. But I don't think that himself, it, it mattered, but it didn't matter. I think the brand, if there were some people behind the scenes or even himself, just maybe posting it, 
as an Instagram story or a reel, like like a flyer, like you know flyers or whatever. I think that might have been enough for like the true hardcore fans, but I think there might have been a disconnect when he didn't do it himself. Does that make sense? But then can you fault him? You know, a little update. This is a little Jeffree Star update that I just I just noticed it because you guys know like if I would have found out about that tumbler and like the knife thing, I, would, I probably would have bought it and had it under the Christmas tree. The whole gig. Right, especially those collectors and stuff like that. But the people who like it are going to continue to buy it, and those who don't won't. It's always been like that, and it's just very interesting. I think that, you know, when it comes to to Daniel, Jeffrey Star, I know he went to the funeral. He posted a picture of that, and he was kind of silent about it. But I think that if it was like the old school Jeffrey, he would have made a made a, made a YouTube video and just like talking about his emotions and. This is what I'm going through, a day in my life video, like what's going on at the ranch and just taking us on that journey. And then, um, you know, give me like, like a moment of silence for Daniel. If that makes sense, but I don't know. But anyways, well, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.